Today, we're going to talk about the relationship between coronavirus and your lungs. So the word corona comes from a crown because the coronavirus has these little projections that look like a little crown. And these little projections have affinity for lung tissue. So in certain cases, especially if you're critical or it's very, very severe, there's a high rate of the person getting a condition called ARDS, uh, acute respiratory distress syndrome. In this situation, you have severe hypoxia. That means you have a lack of oxygen. Other symptoms, rapid breathing, dizziness, breathlessness, sweating. And here's what's happening. At the very end of your bronchial tree, you have these little air sacs. They're called alveoli. And they're just these little empty sacs, okay, that have a very thin wall, and they butt up against these tiny capillaries. So what's happening is we have the oxygen coming in, and it can very easily diffuse through this one cell layer wall on both sides, goes into the red blood cells. So now the red blood cells can be oxygenated, and you can make hemoglobin, and that's carried through the entire body. You also have the exchange of CO2 that comes the other way, so you can exhale the CO2 out and breathe in the O2. So you have this exchange of oxygen, but this virus having affinity for the lung tissue starts to create damage around the lining through here and on the capillaries on the other side. There's inflammation that develops. There's a leak of plasma that starts coming into the lung through here, so it starts to fill up with fluid. Try to breathe when you have fluid in your lungs. It's almost impossible. What happens then is this wall starts to thicken, and now we get less and less exchange of oxygen and CO2 going back and forth. And this is why supportive care is so critical to these patients. They have to give them oxygen, and they have to try to minimize the inflammation that's going on. What's really missing or omitted in this condition is two nutrients. One, vitamin D, and one, zinc. This is a pretty well-known fact that 90% of patients with ARDS has a very low vitamin D level, okay? So what is vitamin D? Vitamin D is a, an immune modulator. It's not really even a vitamin. It's a hormone that can greatly improve your immune system. It's a really powerful anti-inflammatory. So that would be a no-brainer. If I had ARDS, I would be downing the vitamin D immediately. And then you have zinc. Zinc is probably one of the most important nutrients for your lungs, especially to reduce inflammation. If you're deficient in zinc, infection lasts longer. You're more susceptible to infections, virus and bacteria. You don't have the full capacity of your army, your white blood cells. Put a couple links down below to show you some very interesting research on two very inexpensive nutrients that honestly should be taken if someone has this condition. If you have not seen my video on boosting your immune system, I put it right here.